Hey guys, it's MaxLaw. Ever since Wukong got reworked, he has been terrorizing games in both top and jungle and actually has a consistently high win rate. While it's more commonly seen in top lane, it's also quite strong in the jungle. Wukong's passive is Stone Skin. He innately gains bonus armor depending on level and regenerates a portion of his max health every 5 seconds. These effects are increased by 50% each time Wukong or his clone damages an enemy champion or monster, stacking up to 10 times. Wukong's Q is Crushing Blow. He empowers his next auto attack to give him extra range, dealing bonus physical damage and reduce the percentage of the enemy's armor. This ability activates instantly and is an unstoppable basic attack, which means the windup of the attack can only be stopped by death, polymorph and untarget ability. This ability has its cooldown reduced when you auto attack and each time your ultimate ticks. Also, it resets your auto attack timer. Wukong's W is Warrior Trickster. He dashes away in a target direction and enters invisibility for a second, and he leaves behind a decoy of himself for a few seconds. The clone is able to auto attack and will prioritize the last enemy Wukong attack. The clone is also able to repeat Wukong's Q and his ultimate, in addition to gaining the bonus attack speed from Wukong's E. A famous trick to do with Wukong is to press the S key to make your opponents think you've used your clone, when in reality you haven't. The clone will also die from one hit of a tower shot. Wukong's E is Nimbus Strike. Wukong dashes to a targeted enemy and deals magic damage. Two clones of Wukong come out on each side while casting and deal damage to two additional enemies nearby the cast of your E. Upon hitting your target, you and your clones gain bonus attack speed for 5 seconds. The thing to note about this ability is that it does magic damage, so even if you land your Q first, it won't increase the damage of this ability. Wukong's ultimate is Cyclone. Wukong and his clones spins his staff up to 2 seconds dealing max health physical damage to every enemy hit and knocking up people the first time they are hit by the spin. During this you gain 20% movement speed and you are ghosted meaning you can ignore unit collision. Within 8 seconds you can also recast your ultimate to spin again, allowing you to knock up enemies again with your additional cast. Quite broken I would say. The most important thing to keep in mind about this ability is that you and your clone can both use your ultimate, meaning you can quite possibly get multi-man knockups even if they are not bunched together. However, your clone will only be alive long enough for one spin, so make sure to time it correctly with your clone. For runes on Wukong, Conqueror is generally always the best thing you can take. Not only is it great for dueling, but it also procs extremely quickly on you as a champion with your increased auto attack speed and auto attack resets. In addition to that, you get a stack of Conqueror for each tick of your ultimate. After that, take Triumph to increase your survivability, then choose between Legend Alacrity or Legend Tenacity, depending on whether or not they have a lot of CC or you want to deal more damage. After that, take either Coup de Grace or Last Stand, which is up to your personal preference. For your secondary runes, choose Nim Nimbus Cloak and Water Walking. Water Walking is great on almost every jungler because it gives you free stats as well as movement speed when you're crossing through river and generally when you're fighting around dragon you're team fighting and you get those bonus stats. Nimbus Cloak is just a great rune that you have to abuse on almost every jungler. It works extremely well on Wukong as well just because you can smite just before you're ulti and you get that massive movement speed bonus and people generally can't run away from you. Occasionally I'll take Phase Rush against champions that can kite me such as Graves and Nidalee or if I need to run away really fast against an Olaf. This, however, is just in the testing phase, but feels quite good. For your build on Wukong, you should always start Hunter's Machete with a refillable potion. Your only AoE spell is your E, it only attacks three things, whereas Hunter's Machete synergizes really well with the attack speed from your E, as well as your auto cancel. Alongside that, you want to go Red Smite because of the dueling potential of Red Smite. It makes you such a strong jungler and you can even 1v1 AD carries and mid laners. After that, buy the Warrior Enchantment since you want to focus on dealing damage and you are not useful as a full tank. After that, choose between either Triforce or Black Cleaver depending on how fed you are. Black Cleaver is the same option because it's 1k cheaper than Triforce but it still gives you those bruiser stats that are really good on your champ and because you spend 1k less on Triforce you can buy your next item even faster. After your Black Cleaver or Triforce buy Death Stance. It's a really strong item at the moment and provides you with so many stats on making you very hard to kill. However if you are not that fed Death Stance is a very expensive item so I'd strongly suggest building Guardian Angel instead. After that, other great items on Wukong are Sterex Gage, more of Marmotius, Death Stance or Guardian Angel if you didn't buy the other, or depending on the situation you might need one of those niche items like QSS or just even more MR armor because they are full AD or full AP. For your skill order, you can max either your E or your Q first. Maxing your E increases your clear speed whereas maxing your Q increases your dueling potential. After that you max whichever you didn't previously max and max W last. 
taking a point in your ultimate whenever available. For summoners, take Smite and Flash. If you're enjoying the video, please press that subscribe button. Generally, it is better on most jungles to start red, especially the ones that don't rely on mana. However, say if you're on blue side, enemy top is a tank and your top lane is a tank, whereas your bot lane and enemy bot lane are really like volatile and you need jungler there, then it's pretty much not good to start red unless if you're planning on a level 2 gank. I wouldn't recommend level 2 ganking, but sometimes if laners are inting, you have to be there to punish. The fastest clear to get level 3 with both buffs on Wukong is Blue Gromp Red or Red Blue Gromp. I would say Wukong's strength is dueling, so try to play around that by finding the enemy jungler and fighting him and taking his camps. But of course, if a lane is inting, then go gank them and take the free kills. It's important to note that your passive gives you so much armor, but it does not give you MR, so when you're fighting against AP junglers such as Elise and Nidalee, you can't just straight out win by being brainless. But maybe you can use your W to block a skill shot like Nidalee Q or Elise Cocoon, and then you can win 1v1. Wukong is really strong throughout all portions of the game, providing he's not extremely behind, but this champion can snowball like mad. He's extremely strong in skirmishes and team fights. he can blow up people in a 1v1, or he can even provide a lot of AoE damage and CC with his ultimates in team fights. In a team fight, you have a lot of options. It depends on what you want to do, what your position looks like at the start of the fight, and what the enemy's positioning is. If you can get a multi-man knockup and your team can follow up, then feel free to just run in there, EWR, and just kill them all. However, in some situations, you can't just engage on them from just running at them so try to look for flanks. Keep in mind that when you E in you can cancel your Q animation by insta Ring, and this can add so much damage on the target that you're selecting. The most important thing of Wukong is how you use this clone. This clone can either be used for surviving and buying time and then going back in or it can be used for getting a multi-man knockup so that your team can follow up or to just simply close the gap on the target because they're just too far away. If you mess up your clone mechanic you probably won't be as effective as the montage Wukong players you see in Challenger. Overall, Wukong is a really strong champion at the moment, and while he is most prevalent top lane, his jungle is also really strong. He's got strong dueling potential with the armor from his passive, and can snowball like crazy. And this champion can be flexed between top and jungle. If you want more guides like this one, subscribe to the Monster Rugby Gaming YouTube channel. If it's more of me you want, you can follow me on MaxLol, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. You can also see us play in the NLC every Tuesday and Wednesday starting at 6pm GMT.